Now, hypoglycemia is typically caused by too much insulin. The next acute complication we want to look at is caused by not enough insulin. So when there's not enough insulin, ketone bodies will be produced. When fats are burnt in the absence of carbohydrates, ketone bodies will be produced. So the saying that fats can only be burnt in the fire of carbohydrates is a good physiological saying because in diabetes there's not enough insulin so fats are used but glucose cannot be used. And when fats are used but the glucose can, cannot be used then ketone bodies are produced as a byproduct. They're not a waste product because they're, they're very important metabolic acids. But ketone bodies it's a strange description. Ketone bodies actually describes three chemicals, so quite why they're called ketone bodies, I'm not sure. I think it's a bit of an old-fashioned uh, term. But the ketone bodies are three chemicals. Acetoacetic acid, beta-hydroxybutyric acid, and acetone is a volatile fraction that's produced from the beta-hydroxybutyric acid. Now, the acetoacetic acid is what chemists call a keto acid. I don't know why, but chemists are clever people and they classify these as keto acids. So because they're keto acids, we call them ketones. So that's all the ketone bodies means. It's acetoacetic acid, beta-hydroxybutyric acid and acetone. These are the ketone bodies. And as I said, the acetone is the volatile fraction. So if you've got ketone bodies in the blood, the acetone is breathed out and we can smell this. It's like a sweet, sickly smell, sometimes described as smelling like um, pear drops, if you can remember sucking pear drops when, when you were a kid. So that, they are the ketone bodies. Those three chemical compounds are the ketone bodies.